I've recently covered how to use a water meter to discover supply plumbing leaks within your home and help you locate them. In general, a plumber is going to use a water pressure gauge, but a water meter is an alternative high-level tool if you don't have a water pressure gauge handy or a water monitor installed. The question I want to answer with you today is, how far can we push this testing and what is the smallest plumbing leak we can detect with a water meter using a rotating leak detector? Last week's intro summed it up best, so I'm unapologetically putting it here too. Here's the deal. You and I are not plumbers and we're not paid by the hour, so we could run these tests as long as we want to find the smallest leak. Or can we? I intend to find out and take you with me. So we're going to work on answering what is the smallest leak we can detect in 15 minutes, one hour, and eight hours. Before going over the results of the water meter tests, here's the only ground rule. No systems can run during these tests, such as an ice maker or water softener. You can see the 15 minute and one hour baseline tests are pretty boring because in general, this is a blunt tool. And if there's no usage, the turbine isn't moving. However, that isn't quite true on longer running tests. It doesn't seem to matter if the water heater is left on, just turned off, or cool. In an open system, which I define in these past videos, there can be enough movement in the line to give the water meter leak detector a small amount of movement. With this in mind, I want enough of a turn to make it obvious there's a small leak. So I'm setting the goal to be 1 6th of a turn or 60 degrees. Working backwards from longer to shorter tests, here are the results from the eight hour overnight test. A drop every five seconds collects four cups of water which is equivalent to a quart over eight hours. With that kind of volume, the leak detector on my water meter moved one sixth of a turn in the seventh hour. I'd like to say speeding up the leak to a drop every 2.5 seconds is even more obvious over the course of eight hours, and it did move the dial at a more regular rate, but as you can see in this overnight time lapse, the leak detector moved the same amount despite double the volume coming out. So some of these results depend on how well your meter behaves. If you have a newer and less sticky turbine, it might be easier to see. And to prove that the seventh hour movement wasn't the first toilet flush in the morning, here you can see the results in Fin Plus, my whole house water monitor, which did not record actual usage until 7.02 in the morning, which is not a coincidence since the eight hour time lapse was over at 6.50. With a drop of water every five seconds, that is still a significant leak at a quart of water, but it doesn't move the needle much literally. At half a cup of water every hour, that's three quarts a day and 273.75 gallons a year. To get a sixth of a turn in one hour will require a leak of just over three drops of water every second. With a quart in one hour, that is six gallons a day and 2,190 gallons a year. The same one sixth of a water meter leak indicator turn over the course of 15 minutes is detecting a leak of more than 12 drops a second, basically a steady trickle. With a quart in 15 minutes, that is one gallon every hour, 24 gallons a day, and 8,760 gallons a year. A water meter is not a highly sensitive leak detection tool and is not very effective at telling you if you have a very small leak. However, you probably already have one installed and it is good enough to show a significant leak is present. I'm going to leave it at that and go over the results of this video, the previous Better at Detecting a Leak water pressure gauge video, and upcoming water monitor and shutoff system leak testing of Fin Plus and Flow by Moen all together so we can go over the pros, cons, and similarities and differences when coming up with solutions to detect leaks in your home definitely check the description for the other leak detection videos in this series. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday. Oh goodness.